Best Indian Country DVDs and CDs by James Greeley, honoring the supernatural, 2006-2008. Native flutist, powwow CDs, movies, he's got it. By the way, I didn't introduce myself. I was just asked, who am I? I'm Lana Jack. I'm from Zalilo Indian Village. My Indian name is Khyukpo. It's the mist from the falls. That's what my name means. So I am from name. And uh, I'm just really, really, really super excited to be here today. And I hope you are too, because I think we have, so I know that we have some great lineups for some great conversation some great music and some great performances so if we could have James Greeley come on up and give us some of his fine tunes Well, I was looking at my time here, and uh, it's 1.45. I think we were supposed to start at 11, so that would be called Indian time. White man time get, gives you cancer. So, yeah, my name is James Greeley. Uh, thank you for the introduction. And I uh, was invited here by Sean Cruz. And also would like to... Uh, acknowledge uh, another gentleman the late John Talley who was one of the native programmers with KBU back in um, 2000 when I met, met the met the gentleman and uh, so I, I wanted to uh, you know dedicate my time to that man he was uh, a good support um, during his native programs I would show up out of the blue and he'd say hey come get on the mic come play flute for the City of Roses I'm like why not well, I'm, uh, I'm here to share my gift, and um, like I'll say, all glory to the Creator most of the time. Uh, I feel like I'm just a, a channel um, to able to uh, express these songs. And uh, this this person on my uh, my ribbon shirt is brand new. Uh, it's got the uh, Coco Pele figure on here, and out of the Southwest with the Hopi people on my mother's side, they call him Kokopa. And that's the, uh, the the right pronunciation before the uh, Euro Europeans decide to add the little uh, Coca Pelli at the end. And uh, but uh, we're going to share some songs here. I was asking uh, about uh, some delays, some effects. Um, you kind of get spoiled with uh, PA systems when you do this rock star stuff. And uh, but we're on, we're on a dry mic and. Um, so later on, I, I brought my own PA, and I might see about setting my, my PA up here and uh, can do something a little bit later, because I think we're here till 7, I believe. The weather's great. Um, great to see everyone here. Uh, we have our render stand back there. I have CDs on me of my music. I have business cards. So <clears throat> from now until we're uh, done here, you um, can pick up some CDs, business card. Dad's got some Bigfoot t-shirts back there. He drew himself. Um, and uh, people have been pretty uh, acknowledged uh, pretty, pretty uh, nicely. You repeat again? Oh, I hear some effects now. Who's making a liar out of me? Well, there he is. That guy, he's making a liar out of me. But, uh, yeah, so he's, he's playing with the uh, effects a little bit. Um, if I have to end up turning my back towards you, it's nothing personal. 
It's the uh, the wind that takes away the uh, sound from these flutes because all the sound comes from this from this uh, right here where this fetish is. Well, I call it a fetish, but um, it's a it's a bear. That looks like he's pooping, but it's a, a pooping bear um, that's on there. This was a gift um, from one of my friends named John Ely. He uh, he's got sacred medicine wheel flutes, and um, his wife uh, uh, helps him with these uh, flutes as well, but. One of the real cool things is I don't know if it'd be cool, but he has no fingers on one hand, and and he may and he has all his fingers on his other hand, but he can't play his own own instrument. So his, his wife was uh, you know inclined enough to uh, figure out the flute and and uh, help him design his flutes. But when he he uh, asked him to play one of his flutes for him before, which wasn't this one, I, I said what I didn't like about it, what I didn't like about it. Um, he came back and said, hey, here's your flute. And, uh, and I said, well, that's excellent because it plays the way that I play, the style that I play. Um, some flutes makers, there's flutes out there. They, I think they should just throw them in the fire and start all over again. But um, <clears throat> for the most part, I couldn't make a flute to save my life. And uh, But I have made these ones. These are bone whistles. This is a deer bone. This is an eagle bone. we will share some of those, too. And... Uh, so yeah, like I said, not the personal. The wind's going that way, so I have to face that way. No, you can't take it over my time. I'm just kidding. Get her. She wants to say some words uh, on on her part. What a beautiful day in celebration of a beautiful man. Um, my name is Mary Lou Betke and I am the chair of the Park Rose School Board. Thank you. And what's really neat is that when I was growing up, Jim and his sister lived around the corner from me. So I can remember watching him on high tide, dancing, I can remember how his father and he worked together to master his skill. I had the privilege of knowing his mother. I had the privilege of working with his sister. I love the fact that today we celebrate the third Jim Pepper Festival. And I ask all of you to please, next year, invite your friends and let's fill this spot because there's nothing more magical and mystical than listening to good drum music, good flute music, and the music that Jim created that crossed. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I feel so privileged turning it over to a flute player from some of my favorite land, the Southwest. Thank you. Have a great day, people. Where did he go? I need you to loop me off the stage. Well, we gave her a minute, but she went went a little bit past that minute, and I'll we'll let her slide. Thank you again for being here. Our Park Rose lady there, high school lady.
Rest in peace, John Sally. He's up there. Feeling spring around my head Makes me feel glad 